Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. Sometimes even the most popular and raved about products are just not a great fit for you. With the help of my friends at Hero Cosmetics, today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to tell if your cleanser is not working for you and what you can do to fix it. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel I post a lot of skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure to subscribe. And without further ado, let's get started. The first sign that your cleanser is not working for you happens to be the most obvious or the most noticeable. If your skin is feeling squeaky clean after cleansing your face, then it's a good indication that this product is over stripping your skin of the natural moistures that exist on your skin for a reason. Oftentimes, the squeaky clean feeling is also coupled with a dryness or a tightness to the skin, which could actually be aging your skin in the process. The truth is, when you're cleansing your skin, you should not feel squeaky clean. Your skin is still supposed to feel supple and soft to the touch. Clean, but not stripped. Now, if your issue is more so the tightness and the stripped feeling of the skin, you're going to want to look for cleansers that are a little bit more moisturizing, something with ceramides or even colloidal oatmeal. I'm super excited to share with you Hero Cosmetics' new cleanser that they just launched. This is the Clear Collective Gentle Milky Cleanser. I've been using this for about three weeks now, and I can definitely say that this is such a beautiful, gentle cleanser. It's fragrance-free, and it's packed with a bunch of ceramides, colloidal oatmeal as well, and it's gonna make your skin feel so moist. This is perfect for both your morning and your night routine, and it's gonna leave your skin feeling supple to the touch. This cleanser is designed to melt away the day with a gentle, milky, soft texture. You can use this cleanser in both your morning and night routines to cleanse the impurities on your skin. It's designed to help balance your skin's natural oil production to help make sure that you're not a grease ball by the end of the day, and it also helps to rebuild and fortify your skin barrier to actually improve the quality of your skin. One of the things I love most about this cleanser is that it is fragrance-free, and it's specifically designed with sensitive and acne-prone skin in mind, which is music to my ears. It's packed with ceramides and even jojoba oil, which is one of the oils that are best tolerated by your skin because it closely mimics the sebum that your skin naturally produces. A cleanser like this is very gentle on the skin and suitable for many different skin types. Number two, sometimes your cleanser doesn't leave your skin feeling stripped at all. It actually does the opposite and leaves you feeling a little bit greasy, even after you've just finished cleansing your skin. This may be another indication that this cleanser is not the right one for you. You'll find this occurs more often to people with combination or oily skin types, where the cleanser that you're using is too gentle or too moisturizing. For these types of situations, I recommend doing two things. The first is double cleansing. We know that oil gets rid of oil. So if you're using a balm or an oil-based cleanser, it's gonna make sure to get rid of the oil-based impurities on your skin. The second thing is switching that moisturizing gentle cleanser for a hydrating gel-based cleanser. Look for cleansers that have more hydrating ingredients like hyaluronic acid, aloe vera, urea, or mugworth. These are gonna bring water into the skin. The hydration from these cleansers are still gonna give your skin that water that it needs to make sure it doesn't feel stripped and dry, but it's also not gonna pump your skin with all these moisturizing ingredients that is causing the greasiness along your face. The double cleanser is going to make sure that all of the oil on your skin and those type of debris are already gone, and the gel cleanser is going to make sure to deeply, thoroughly clean your skin as well as get rid of that oily residue from your double cleanse. Doing it this way will make sure that your skin is still feeling nice and supple and it can breathe. The third sign that your cleanser may not be the right one for you is if it's leaving your skin red or tingling after cleansing. There are certain people with really sensitive skin, and so even when they touch their skin, there's a little bit of redness that appears. If that's what happens to you, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the actual cleanser making your skin red and irritated. This is a prime example of a cleanser that is way too harsh for your skin and actually can be damaging your skin barrier. This occurs most often when you're using cleansers with exfoliating acids or just active ingredients in general and you're overusing them on your skin. Another indication that this may be the problem is if you then use other products that you normally use that are quite gentle, like things containing aloe or colloidal oatmeal or ceramides that we talked about before, and you find that these products are stinging and irritating your skin. It means that your skin barrier is compromised. As with the aforementioned, the easiest way to fix the problem is to stop using the product. 
This one, unfortunately, will take a little bit longer than the rest because your skin barrier actually needs to be built and heal. The best way to solve this skin issue is to go on a skincare diet, which involves using just the essential products, two or three that you actually need in your skincare routine. A gentle cleanser, a rich moisturizer that helps rebuild your skin barrier, as well as sunscreen, of course, to protect your skin. Doing this for a week or two will make sure that your skin barrier has the time that it needs and the ingredients that it needs to rebuild itself, and your skin will be ready to go in no time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what are your best secrets for recognizing when a cleanser is not right for you. I'd love to know. Go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you, lovely ladies and gents, in the next video. Bye.